If you've ever watched the iconic and groundbreaking science fiction TV series Star Trek from the 1960s, then you know that every episode starts with the words Space, the Final Frontier. These are the voyages of these videos for you today. The unknown and the seemingly endless atmosphere out there. The truth is we are regularly getting further into space every passing year and finding out all sorts of fascinating things, thanks to science, technology, and a little imagination. Are you ready to find out for yourself? 15 Most Mysterious Space Discoveries Space Jack-O-Lantern In a move meant to get everyone in the spirit for Halloween, NASA posted a throwback pic that got a lot of people's attention. As you can see, active regions on the sun combined together to look something like a jack-o'-lantern's face. The pumpkin carving, Jack O'Lantern's story, comes from Irish folklore and was a cry from the cute friendly Halloween decoration we know today. They were carved from turnips or beets rather than festive orange pumpkins and were intended to ward off unwanted visitors. Maybe the sun is trying to send us a message. As for the space Jack O'Lantern, the image was captured by NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, which watches the sun at all times from its orbit in space. But they don't always see stuff like this. The active regions of the sun appear brighter because they're areas that emit more light and energy, an intense and complex set of magnetic fields hovering in the sun's atmosphere. This image blends together two sets of extreme ultraviolet wavelengths, typically colorized in gold and yellow, to create the smiling jack-o'-lantern appearance. But don't worry, despite this creepy image, the sun still provides vital energy for most of life on Earth. Fasten your seatbelts because it's time for today's sweet topic. Impact events are caused by the collision of meteoroids, asteroids, or comets with Earth. Almost most are small and go unnoticed. The bigger events may sometimes be followed by mass extinctions of life. When was the last time any of us saw a dinosaur? Throughout Earth's history, there have been many instances of objects impacting our planet like this, either reaching the surface or exploding above ground from the intense energy released as it passed through the atmosphere. As scary as this looks, they're natural processes that shape the surface of our planet. But an impact event like this one in this image looks like it would blast the planet out of our solar system like a baseball being knocked out of the ballpark. Don't you think? Use the hashtag sweet topic in the comments below and let us know how deep an impact event like this impacts you. Uber Eats Delivery Can you order boiled mackerel and miso? Beef bowl cooked in sweet sauce, simmered chicken with bamboo shoots, and braised pork in space? Turns out you can, thanks to Uber Eats. The company teamed up with a Japanese entrepreneur who traveled to the International Space Station recently to hand deliver Japanese cuisine to the astronauts aboard the ship. It took a little longer than 30 minutes, however. A big thumbs up for the delivery nonetheless. The delivery was made after having traveled 248 miles in 8 hours and 34 minutes since its departure from Earth. Still, Uber Eats can officially be described as out of this world after this. The Uber CEO said in a statement, We're over the moon to have helped make our first successful delivery to space. Our goal is to help people go anywhere and everywhere. So we're proud to serve the astronauts at the International Space Station. Hopefully, the astronauts didn't forget to tip the driver. As for the ISS, it was launched back in 1998 and astronauts have been living on board ever since. It's an important place to carry out tests and research that will help future space missions to places like the Moon and Mars. But even astronauts don't want to cook, at least some of the time. Why not order in? The Sun's Evil Twin Did you know that most stars in the universe are born as binaries, kind of like siblings? What happens when one of these siblings turns out to be evil, destroying everything in its path? It's long been suspected that our sun has an evil twin called Nemesis, a dwarf star guilty of hurtling objects from the outer solar system towards Earth. In fact, some experts even believe that the sun's non-identical sister kicked an asteroid into our planet's orbit that collided and exterminated the dinosaurs. But the sun's fable twin has never been found. But now scientists have restarted their fight to find Nemesis after finding striking observations while watching recently formed stars in the constellation Perseus. The researchers designed a mathematical model that finds the observations of stars in Perseus can only be explained if all of the stars were born with a companion. Could our sun have a twin? Now, for the first time, scientists have found proof that the nemesis may exist somewhere in the universe after revealing that all stars are born in pairs. No evidence has ever been found that nemesis exists, but a new study has offered a glimpse of hope by providing that all stars are born twins, including the sun. 
Nemesis is believed to be one and a half light years away. <laughs> Fire Rainbow Eruptive events on the sun can be wild. Some come with just a solar flare. Some with an additional ejection of solar material called a coronal mass ejection or CMEs and some with complex moving structures that loop up into the sun's atmosphere, the corona, like a rainbow of fire. In July of 2012, an eruption occurred on the sun that produced all three. A moderately powerful solar flare exploded on the sun's lower right-hand limb, sending out light and radiation. Next came a CME which shot off to the right out into space and then the sun treated viewers to one of its dazzling magnetic displays a phenomenon known as coronal rain, aka fire rainbows. Pretty cool, huh? NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory captured the powerful bursts of radiation in this incredible video. The sun is composed of plasma, a gas in which the negative electrons move freely around the positive ions, forming a powerful mix of changed particles. The sun, being a very hot star, behaves like a giant nuclear reactor, and this happens. The ejected material either escapes the sun's gravitational pull and ripples through space or falls back toward the surface and we get quite a light show. Super Earth Scientists have discovered many planets similar to Earth beyond our solar system. Atmospheric water has been discovered by scientists on a planet 124 light years away from us. It's possible that clouds form and even rain falls on this faraway world with a temperature that could allow life to thrive there. But these so-called Super Earths can be up to 10 times larger than our planet, which might be ideal for our growing population. But with more mass comes more gravity, and despite having more space for life, we'd be heavily affected in many ways. To live on a super-Earth would require super strength. If Earth were larger, gravity would be stronger. That's just science. So, what would life be like on a super-Earth? A short jog would feel like running a marathon. The stress on our muscles and bones would increase. With much more force pulling us down, our organs would shift and we'd likely develop some serious health issues. Imagine growing up on a Neptune-like exoplanet seven and a half times the mass of our Earth in the habitable zone. One year lasts a mere 106 days, less than one third of a year here on Earth. Your summers may be a little shorter too, but a week's vacation would stretch a whole lot further. Rainbow water. Oh, the fun we could have performing experience in space like this. NASA astronauts aboard the International Space Station were testing a 4K camera to film science experiments. This will mean that the recordings, at a higher frame rate and in higher resolution than normal HD cameras, offer up more information to researchers. It also means some very fun and interesting videos. An astronaut, who's part of NASA's crew spending a year in space to gauge the effects on the body of a long-term Mars mission, is filmed playing with water. More specifically, he has a globule of water to which he's adding things and filming the effects. First, he creates the water globule. Then he adds what looks like blue and yellow food dye to color the water and algae green. Finally, he adds effervescent tablets, which causes the green globule to bubble and distort as the tablet rapidly breaks down creating carbon dioxide. In microgravity, water floats in the air as quivering blobs, which makes some experiments the astronauts perform seem really fun, such as popping water balloons or injecting air bubbles and seeing how the water moves. Astronauts put together an already excellent combination of zero gravity, water droplet, and antacid tablet, some food coloring, 4K HD space fun. X-ray bubbles. The halo of the Milky Way above and below the galactic plane is an excellent place to look for evidence of past shenanigans from the galactic center. A new survey of the sky and X-rays has revealed a previously hidden structure in the Milky Way galaxy. Giant bubbles. Compared to the disk of the Milky Way, it's relatively empty of material so an energetic activity from the galactic center might be detectable. X-radiation from the galactic center has been found extending vast distances above and below the galactic plane. The bubbles are so huge, they engulf the already known Fermi bubbles of gamma radiation. But according to a team of astrophysicists, it's likely that the two phenomena are somehow linked. But why? Explanations include starburst activity with a tremendous number of stars being born or an outburst for the supermassive black hole in the galactic center back when it was a little more active. This new discovery could provide context that helps scientists interpret the mystery of the X-ray bubbles. These structures are filled with hot gas and magnetic fields that emit gamma radiation expanding from the galactic center. They extend for 29,354 light years in each direction. These bubbles are thought to be evidence of past activity from the region, although we still don't know what. 
odd radio circles. In astronomy, an odd radio circle is a very large unexplained astronomical object that, at radio wavelengths, is highly circular and brighter along its edges. The observed circles are bright at radio wavelengths, but are not visible at visible infrared or X-ray wavelengths. And as of 2021, there have been five such objects and possibly six more observed. Three of them contain optical galaxies in their centers, suggesting that the galaxies might have formed these objects. Our universe is full of weird and wonderful things, but the latest discovery has them going in circles, literally. Using a radio telescope, astronomers spotted these unusual objects in deep space and they've dubbed them odd radio circles or orcs because they're circular and so odd. So scientists now accepted that these strange objects were real phenomena, ones that had not been seen before. But what were they? We still don't know. What we do know is that all of them are found at high galactic latitudes, well away from the plane of the galaxy, the flat part containing our sun and most other Milky Way stars. And as observed, the radio circles are about 3% of the size of the moon. Scientists still don't know how far away they are. <laughs> moon Melodies the Apollo 10 spaceflight launched in May of 1969. The astronauts flew to the moon in a command module, and two of the crew members also took a ride in their lunar module, dropping down to less than 10 miles above the moon's surface. Strangely, noises were reportedly heard by the astronauts as they circled the moon, and NASA has released a recording of the strange music that astronauts heard while on the far side of the moon out of radio contact with the Earth. The sounds, which lasted about an hour, were recorded and transmitted to Mission Control in Houston. The three astronauts on board were Thomas Stafford, John Young, and Eugene Kernan. You hear that? That whistling sound? Asks Kernan, describing it as an outer space type music. It must have freaked them all out because they debated whether or not to tell the chiefs at NASA for fear they wouldn't be taken seriously and could be dropped from future space missions. But of course, the mysterious moon music was recorded and reported. However, NASA says the sound could not have been alien music. The whistling sound, it turned out, was just interference between radios on the two space vehicles. The Lost Shield NASA astronauts on a spacewalk recently accidentally lost a fabric shield needed for the International Space Station, a minor setback in what was otherwise a record-setting mission for one of the crew members. Astronauts Peggy Whitson and Shane Kimbrough were working on an area of the space station when a docking port had been disconnected and moved. They were in the process of using four large cloth panels to cover the access point where the docking port had been when one of the fabric shields suddenly drifted away and floated off into space. At the time, they were about midway through a planned six and a half hour spacewalk to prepare a docking port for upcoming commercial space taxis and to tackle other maintenance tasks. Cameras on the station tracked the debris shield bag as it sailed into the distance. NASA said the engineers determined it posed no safety threat to the astronauts or to the facility, a $100 billion research laboratory that flies about 250 miles above Earth. The pair installed three other debris shields during their spacewalk and fitted a temporary cover over the docking port where the lost shield would have gone. While not a perfect fit, the cover will help protect the station. <laughs> Golf Balls on the Moon It's been just over 50 years since the iconic 1971 Apollo 14 mission to the moon and since astronaut and commander Alan Shepard fired off two golf balls on its surface. And it took some effort to make these two shots. His golf club was actually fashioned out of a collapsible tool meant for scientific purposes to scoop lunar rocks. Just before leaving the lunar surface, he attached a six iron golf club head to the foldable shaft of a lunar soil sampler and whacked two golf balls out into the gray lunar distance. How could Shepard resist? But there definitely was no golf ball tracking technology with them, and the footage they captured of the moon golfing was shot on a grainy camera. So when they enhanced the clip digitally, they found the second ball and figured out how far it traveled. The first shot was maybe a bit embarrassing because he shanked it into a crater. The second ball was much more of a success. How far did they go? The results confirmed fairly accurately that ball number one traveled 24 yards and ball number two traveled 40. Like all golfers, Shepard couldn't resist a bit of boasting. Miles and miles and miles, he declared as he watched the second shot sail away on its long arc across the lunar surface. First black hole photo. More than 50 million light years away, in the heart of a giant galaxy called Messier 87, a massive beast is devouring anything that gets too close. Stars, planets, gas and dust, everything. Not even light escapes the monster's grasp once it crosses a threshold called the event horizon. And recently, 
scientists unveiled an image of the object, a supermassive black hole containing the same mass as six and a half billion suns resembling a circular void surrounded by a lopsided ring of light. This valuable image is the world's first glimpse of a black hole's silhouette. By its very nature, a black hole cannot be seen, but the hot disk of material that encircles it shines bright. Against a bright backdrop such as this disk, the black hole appears to cast a shadow. This stunning new image shows the shadow of the supermassive black hole in the center of an elliptical galaxy some 50 million light years from Earth. The black hole is 6.5 billion times the mass of the Sun. Catching its shadow involved eight ground-based radio telescopes around the globe, operating together as if they were one telescope. And there are many remaining questions about black holes that the coordinated NASA observations may help answer. Intergalactic Pyramid in 2015, NASA's Dawn spacecraft slid gently into orbit around the dwarf planet called Ceres, the largest body in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Now, NASA has revealed stunning new close-up images of the three-mile-high mountain that appears to be pyramid-shaped. However, NASA offered no suggestion that the towering structure is an offering to some long-shot space emperor or home to a secret race of aliens and it's probably just a really tall mountain in a solar system filled with wondrous and strange natural phenomena. But the mission has done nothing but stoke imaginations since the discovery. They did reveal, however, that the pyramid is in fact a dome with smooth, steep walls, one of which appears to glow. And as dawn circled Cirrus in an increasingly lower altitude, the shape of this mysterious feature began to come into focus. This dwarf planet is 590 miles across and was discovered in 1801. It's the closest dwarf planet to the Sun and is located in the asteroid belt, making it the only dwarf planet in the inner solar system, close enough to feel the warmth of the Sun and allowing ice to melt and reform. As for the pyramid, your guess is as good as ours. <laughs> Gorilla in Space Never one to miss a good prank, NASA astronaut Scott Kelly transformed from a regular human into a gorilla and chased a fellow astronaut on the International Space Station. The footage starts off like a short documentary showing a crew member loading a bag from a resupply ship into a laboratory. Then out pops Kelly in an ape suit and a floating chase ensues. The ISS absolutely does not have an alien problem, but it may have a minor gorilla issue. Kelly's retired astronaut twin brother pulled some strings at NASA to have this gorilla suit delivered into space as part of a care package. You might question the logic behind the decision to ship a gorilla suit to the space station along with more pressing cargo, but no harm done. Let's keep in mind that astronauts are cooped up in small living quarters working hard for long days, letting loose in a gorilla suit in microgravity, as you can see, is a lot of fun. The astronauts were nearing the end of a year-long stay on the ISS, and he shared a series of eye-catching photos of Earth. Apparently, the gorilla also tended plants, watched the Super Bowl from space, and played ping-pong with water. It can't be all work in outer space. Martian Morse Code Is the planet Mars sending us a message? NASA has spotted a series of strange, dark dunes on the red planet that look uncannily like the dots and dashes that make up Morse code. The Martian dots are officially known as Barkanoid dunes and are a little more mysterious. Geophysicists believe they're formed when something interrupts the production of the linear dunes, but NASA still isn't quite sure what that is, and figuring it out is part of the reason they were photographing the region. To be clear, this message is naturally formed, just like the dunes here on Earth. The dots and dashes of the dunes were carved out by the direction of the wind. As a press release from NASA explains, what makes the patterns in this dune so prominent is the fact that it's found inside a natural circular depression, which means there's a limited amount of sand available to be pushed around by local winds. The long dashes are formed by bi-directional winds, which means winds that travel at right angles to the dune. Over time, wind coming from either direction funnels the material into a long, dark line. This isn't the first time researchers have spotted this pattern in the sands of Mars, but thanks to its unique topography, the dune field, just south of the planet's north pole, show them in clearer detail than usual, allowing scientists to translate the message for the first time. If there is one, this is why it's good to go where no man has gone before. Okay, a few men and women have visited space, but you get the point. Like and subscribe since you're here, share with your friends, and hang out for more great videos.